Hey guys, this is Phone Arena presenting the Samsung Star 2. Its uh, predecessor, the Samsung Star, sold more than 30 million handsets. It was a very popular touchscreen feature phone. This one here improves on the predecessor by placing a capacitive touchscreen, not a resistive one that we had on the original Samsung Star, but it keeps the same 240 by 400 pixels of resolution and same 3-inch uh, diagonal as the, the original Star. Other than that, it's slightly thicker than the original but it also comes in this cool white color there's also a black version there's a 3 megapixel camera on the back as well a speaker the volume rocker here on the left on the right we have the power lock button and the micro sd card slot is on the right hand side very handy if you want to swap the card without opening uh, the phone there's a standard audio jack on the top and the micro USB port as well here, which has a protective cap, which is uh, pretty hard to slide up and down. The same three buttons underneath the screen as on the original star, the menu button here and the send and end buttons. The interface on the Samsung Star 2 reminds very much uh, of Bada, Samsung's own operating system, but it's actually not. Let's have a look at it. The interface on the Samsung Star 2 looks very much like the ones we used to see on Samsung's Bada handsets, including this notification bar here for turning off Wi-Fi Bluetooth or the phone sound, etc. And you can also place widgets on a couple of home screens, which is another similarity with uh, the Bada handsets of Samsung. This feeds and updates widgets we've seen uh, on the Bada handsets as well as Samsung's Android phones which is updating you with uh, your social networking accounts but here the dial pad reveals that it looks very much like Bada again as well as if we enter the contacts application you have social networking services, integration with your phone book, your Facebook contacts are all listed here and you can also sync your Twitter, MySpace, etc. exchange accounts. When we enter the menu though, it looks different than on the Vada handsets we've reviewed. It's just a simple grid of 12 squares, which are shortcuts to the applications on the handset and as we said these applications are java based they are um, not smartphone applications and from samsung apps for example you can only download java based applications for the phone themes wallpapers etc you cannot run applications that are written for the battle operating system let's have a look at the browser on the samsung star 2 the portrait keyboard is not QWERTY, it's uh, of the triple tap variety, but in landscape mode it's QWERTY. The browser is WebKit based, Samsung calls it Dolphin, and it's the same browser than uh, it installs on the Bada handsets. The screen doesn't support multi-touch, so you can't use pinch to zoom, you have to double tap to zoom the page or use the arrows. Since the resolution is so low, 240 by 400 as you can see when zoomed out the page looks pretty ugly other than that um, scrolling and panning around are fairly smooth once the page is loaded completely but we got this not enough memory warning more often than not when we tried to load uh, complex web pages double tap works but again we get the not enough memory and since it doesn't support Adobe Flash 10.1 only flashlight 4.0 which allows you to watch let's say YouTube videos and some ads on websites you can definitely say that uh, the browser on the Samsung Star 2 is pretty basic since everything on the Samsung Star 2 looks very much like on Samsung's uh, Bada operating system handsets the camera interface is no exclusion a couple of settings white balance, exposure metering, etc. A few scene modes. And that's that. 
The pictures themselves turned out uh, with a very good color representation, although they were lacking a little bit in the detail department. And the video is just QVJ at 15 frames per second, pretty weak. In the end, we gotta say that the, the Samsung Star 2 is uh, a nice touchscreen feature phone, but we doubt that it will reach the success of its predecessor due to the simple fact that now Android smartphones are going down market and although it's very affordable, makes decent pictures and the call quality um, is above average with the Samsung Star 2. Uh, it's surrounded on all sides by very cheap Android phones and its main drawback is that it doesn't have a smartphone operating system, just a feature phone uh, where you can run Java apps. If you're looking um, for a similar smartphone, you can have a look at the Samsung Wave family. The low-end Samsung Wave 575 offers um, almost the same hardware features, but it has a smartphone operating system, Bada. Or you want to go a little bit upmarket and you can choose the HTC Wildfire, for example. This was a video review of the Samsung Star 2 from Phone Arena. For more details, you can visit us at phonearena.com.